world population is expected to reach about 9 billion by 2050. Eighty-six percent of this, in other words almost eight billion people, will be in the developing world. The thing is, the actual number of people is not in itself an issue, except in some very densely settled countries. In fact, you could fit the entire population of the world into the state of Texas, although not very comfortably. In world population terms, what really matters is a simple ratio, 32 to 1. It represents consumption, and this is where our problems begin. The average rates at which we consume resources, such as oil and metals, and produce waste, like plastic and greenhouse gases, are about 32 times higher in North America, Western Europe, Japan and Australia than they are in the developing world. 32 to 1 captures the difference in consumption between the first world and the third world. This little ratio has huge consequences. Let me explain. The estimated 1 billion people who live in the developed world have a relative per capita consumption rate of 32. Most of the world's other 5.5 billion people in the developing world have a rate well below 32, mostly near to 1. This means that with 10 times the population, the United States consumes 320 times more resources than, for example, Kenya does. The poor of the world logically want to have our standards of living. But the fact is that the planet simply does not have sufficient resources to support such a dream. And so, we're left with a fundamental problem. If the whole developing world were to catch up with us, world consumption rates would increase 11 fold. It would be as if the world had a population of 72 billion people. We may see China's growing consumption as a problem, but the Chinese and many, many others are only reaching for the consumption rate we already have. Telling them they cannot or should not try would be hypocritical, immoral, self-serving and futile as it wouldn't work. What we should be trying to do is to make consumption rates and living standards more equal around the world and to do it at a level the planet can sustain. The question is, how can we do this?